You guys know what it's time for? It's time for chapter three. Just let me take my hoodie off. Because who wears a hoodie at 3.45 in the morning? Alright. Chapter three. Where did I put my water? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> Let me drink some good old fashioned H2O before we begin. <clears throat> this is going to start to uh, replace my Let's Plays for now. Um. Let me know if you guys want me to do another one after this. Maybe a Pokemon one or something. Anyway. <clears throat> little, 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 little. That's not it. Blizzard. <clears throat> no. Let me think. Oh my god. Hi, little guy. No, that's not it either. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me drink some more water, see if that helps. <sighs> All right, let's get started. Hi, little guy. How are you today? Link asked the three-month-old infant boy as he lifted him from his crib. Little Evan grinned at his father across the room. Sitting in a rocking chair, the baby's mother smiled. He really takes to you, said Zelda. And he cries the loudest when he's hungry. Ever notice? Means he's going to be just like me, said Link. Sounding mischievous. <clears throat> so you cry when you're hungry, Link? <laughs> Loser. On she will, and maybe one day you'll meet a girl as beautiful as your mother and get married. Such a fucking cliche thing to say. He cradled the baby in one arm and tickled him under his chin. Evan laughed and swatted at his father's hand. Hard to believe I've been married to you for a year already, Zelda sighed. They just had their first anniversary last week. I just hope it's been, been a good year, said Link. It has. I mean, I didn't realize you could be so responsible. That is, Link, is what my people call a pimp slap. You were pimp slapped, son. With words, too. Those sting, trust me. I felt that earlier tonight. Well, earlier this morning, concerning 3.40 in the morning. <clears throat> <clears throat> You're great with the baby. And you know how to treat a lady, said Zelda. Zelda, I'd do anything for you, Link told her as he held their son's tiny hand. I mean, my life has been pretty happy this past year. You're my wife. You have a cute little boy. I do love you, Link. I was just always afraid to admit it. And it had to do with you being a peasant. Zelda admitted. Again, Link. That is just what is commonly known as a verbal pimp slap. She has two pimp slaps on you. You better come up with something fast. Or I may just lose all respect for you. Zelda held up a hand. 
I'm not finished, Mink. I've learned something. Yes, I could have had a prince if I was willing to put up with someone who was really shallow and only had his mind set on running Hyrule alongside me. I've had princes almost lined up, starting when I was 13. 13, Link. And most of them were just so... So like I thought you would be. That is the third verbal pimp slot, Link. Come on. Now, wasn't that funny, said Link, sounding amused. No, you've been verbally pimp-slapped three goddamn times. What are you doing with your life, Link? Yeah, considering that you've been nothing but kind and considerate to me. Fucking me in the woods. Seems so just compassionate and fueled by a Fiery love. <laughs> this fucking fan fiction. Since my father made me marry you. I love how she keeps saying that her father made her marry him. Like it's just like this huge letdown. And I'm glad. I'm kind of glad he did. He saw something I didn't want to see. And I guess... I was deliberately holding off on marrying. Maybe I did want someone to push me into your arms. I would have liked it better if it was your decision, said Link, cuddling the baby. I mean, being married to you and fathering a child by you isn't enough. I've always wanted your love. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Zelda sighed. I know. I say I love you, but I don't really show it, she admitted. And you've shown me a lot of love, Link. I feel so guilty. Link brought the baby over to Zelda and placed him gently in her arms. I still love you, Zelda, he told her. He kissed her cheek. Zelda, I'm sure that if you didn't love me at all, you would you would have deliberately married the first prince you saw. Nice comeback, Link, calling your own wife a whore. <laughs> that actually brings you up two points, so it's two three right now. Three two. However you want to look at it. Before you turned 18, you could have had anyone. I think you did this on purpose. I feel lucky in a way. I know you. I've known you for four years. Even longer if you count my past lives. Apparently this fan fiction doesn't. You know me better than I do. Zilda smiled as she cradled their son in her arms. Yes. I did do it on purpose. I've thought about that. I just don't want you to blow it. I could have married you when you were 17 or 16, Link. But I figured that it would take you down a peg if I was forced to marry you. Now that's not very nice, said Link. He knelt down next to the rocking chair. Sounds every bit as shallow as those princes. Not to mention Snooty. And that brings Link to four points. His tone wasn't angry, rather. It was somewhere between teasing and childing. But did I really need to be knocked down a peg or two? More than that, Zelda giggled. I've heard you bragging about how you're a hero and everything. 
I didn't want to be just a notch in your belt. Yes, I'm glad you saved time. And to me, being a hero is the next big thing to royalty. But I didn't want to hear you gloat. How long have I been waiting for? I can't see because I'm sitting on the couch. Ten minutes? I'm good. <clears throat> But what you didn't understand, and I'm not sure if you fully understand now, is that I love you. I really love you. I'd give you my life. I'd give my life for you if it came to that. Link told her, for you, and our son, which has a really stupid ass name. You suck at naming Zelda. And Mank, you're pistol with because you agreed immediately. <sighs> Scrolling up. I know, said Zelda. Mm. Basically, Link, a lot of it is misjudgment, to be honest. You've surprised me with how much you help with Evan. And I watch you with the baby. And you're such a great father, Link. And you're a great husband to me. You're willing to put up with me. And to be fair, Zelda, everybody would put up with you. If you were just going to be a notch in my belt, as you put it, I don't think I would have wasted my time with you the way you can be sometimes, I said Link as he stood up. I would have been scared off. Yes, because we all know that a woman is scarier than facing down the blade of a demon. Actually, I agree with Link on that one. It is much, a girl is much scarier than a staring down the blade of a demon. Don't piss off girls. Let that be today's lesson. If you do, God help you. Zelda had to laugh at that. Such persistence, my hero. You're worth it because I know that you're a loving and caring person deep inside. Evan started to cry loudly. I think he's hungry, said Zelda, even though I previously stated that he cries the loudest when he, he's hungry. So me repeating it now is kind of stupid. As she lifted up her blouse, And no more cracks about being in competition with the babies over these. She added, glaring on the link. However, her glare was teasing. He can have it. I don't like the taste of breast milk, remarked Link. Yet you like the milk of cows. Really dropped the ball on that one, dipshit. He mocked Link as he straddled his chair and watched his wife, son. But wait until he's weaned. Link, you're terrible, laughed Zelda. She looked down at her son. I just can't get over how much he looks like you. I see a little of him in you, said Link. His ears are more like yours. Even though both of our ears are pointy as shit and could probably cut concrete and kill a man. 
because they're so sharp and pointy. Yeah, that was stupid. I apologize for that. I think when he's six months, so start giving him bottles, said Zelda. She gave him a mischievous smile. That way we can take turns getting up to feed him. Ring said nothing, just watched. Later that day, Zelda was walking around, Eben in her arms. Link was outside practicing his sword fighting and acrobatics. Won't you go watch Daddy? Zelda asked, kissing her baby's cheek. Evan grabbed the lock of his mother's long blonde hair and tugged. See, Zelda is fucking blonde, alien. That's the way it's supposed to be. So I win. Nanny nanny boo boo. Stick your head in doo doo. I was right and you were wrong. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll tell you, you're getting as ornery as your father, Zelda laughed as she gently freed her hair from his grasp. But I love your father the way he is, but he's getting me to admit it. <sighs> Zelda walked outside holding the baby over her shoulder. Little Evan stuck his fist in his mouth. and looked around as his mother carried him. It was starting to rain, so Zelda changed her mind about taking the baby outside. She carried him back into the nursery and laid him down in his crib, kissing his cheek as she did so. She smiled at him and tickled his tummy, and the baby laughed and kicked. You're also as sweet as your father, Zelda told him. Zelda suddenly heard a cracking noise through the window. And the sound of Link yelling. She rushed to the window on the couch. She saw Link lying there on the ground, a branch next to him. Link! she shrieked. Apparently he'd been practicing swinging into a tree. And the branch had been broken. Really didn't think that one through, dipshit. That one's really on you, Link, you stupid motherfucker. And we will continue next time.